Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Friday, January 14th, and it's currently um, 1.04 p.m. Sorry, I don't know, I had a text message, so my mind was a little foggy. And I have Shanley here. I told you guys in the video that I made yesterday of opening up my giveaway stuff that I was going to change him out of his sleeper and um, just change his outfit for you all so I can try on his new cloth diapers. We're so excited. And um, I am going to put down this blanket because I do have these black leggings on and they um, have a lot of lint on them. So we're going to put this blanket down. We're going to do this side. So it looks all cozy. This little Hollister blanket. Okay. Um, my camera's acting a little. It's like this thing blinking on my camera. I don't know what it is, but whatever. <laughs> so we have Chandler here, and all of his clothes are not in the room. They're like literally in my car. And I didn't feel like getting them, so we're going to try to squeeze newborn on him, even though he is very much a uh, zero to three month size. And so, yeah, let me see if I can have him better so you guys can see him. Also, Zaire had made it to his reborn aunt house yesterday. He came a day early. He was supposed to have come on well actually he was supposed to have went to her on monday or came to her on monday but he ended up um the time that i took him to ups okay so i found that why it was blinking <laughs> but long story short when i had dropped the package off on that saturday they were actually um the man who comes to pick it up and bring it to like you know the warehouse where they distribute it um he was actually there he usually does not come on saturdays he usually comes on monday so that's why um originally zaire was supposed to arrive to her on monday but since the man had came on a saturday he was gonna possibly arrive to her on friday but he came a day early and he arrived to her on a thursday so yes he's there with her she's taking pictures of them like right now she's live right now but i want to do this video before i joined it and so yeah she's loving him like he's her own and um very fun so i'm gonna try again i'm gonna try this newborn outfit on him i think the shirt might be able to fit him i don't know what do you guys think so it's just this child of mine shirt and it's yellow with a dark gray stripes on it. And then it has this, um, is it a crane? The little construction crane? Or is there a different term for it? I don't know. If any of you guys know, let me know. And then maybe these shorts with it, but it looks so tiny. And um, if not, I have a onesie that should fit him. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to changing him. And the reason why I wanted to put him and the shorts is because it's um hot you guys know i live in the desert arizona it's hot so i wanted to put him in some shorts instead of this long sleeper and it's pretty hot in here too i don't know why i decided to wear a sweater today i just wanted to <laughs> i kind of, sometimes i get cold fast and then sometimes the cold doesn't phase me because you guys know i lived in wisconsin with all the four seasons Let's see how um, cold it is there right now. They have a lot of snow. Okay, let's see. It's 25 degrees there right now. That's not bad. That's not bad for January. I remember when I was living there in January, it was like a negative nine degrees. I'm, I was like, I can't do this cold, but I got used to it. Living there my whole life. Well, when I, uh, living there, um, two years old and up until just 2020 so i got used to the cold my mom says she didn't get used to the cold even though she's been living there mostly all of her whole life too so i'm like something's not adding up <laughs> i just feel like when you're in the same environment like you just have no other choice but to get used to it but i don't know so anyway i did want to talk about something i'm all the way off topic so i wanted to talk about where you can buy a silicone at. So 
that's going to be our topic for today. I'm sorry I got a little off track, guys. I forgot that I was that I had an actual topic for today's video. <laughs> so, he has like glitter on him, but I don't know where that glitter came from because I don't think I have anything that was glitter. So that's what I'm doing, trying to take that off and then he has like a little hair by his face. Okay, so where you can buy silicone at? Sorry guys. Um, Pre-owned, you can uh, purchase a silicone from somebody who's selling them. Like someone who's selling their own from their personal collection. Um, a way you can find out if a silicone baby is for sale is if on, on Instagram if you're following people who um, own Reborns and Silicones and you know they might post a picture on Instagram saying hey I have this silicone baby for sale and then that's a way you can find out if they're selling it. Another way is by going here on YouTube and searching up you know silicone babies for sale or just subscribing to people who own silicones to see if they're ever going to sell theirs because eventually maybe possibly they will and um sometimes just take a leap of faith and just say hey if you're ever going to like if they state the baby is a forever baby i don't know maybe not but if you really really see a silicone baby that you like and you know that eventually or you are close to probably having enough money for a silicone baby they just say, hey, if you ever think about selling this baby, please let me know as I'm seriously interested. Um, even if the baby is enough for sale. But I wouldn't recommend doing it, you know, right when they get the baby. Like, not fresh out of a box. <laughs> not a box opening video. I don't recommend that. But I do say just go for it because 9 times out of 10, they'll remember that or... Um... That way you'll be able to uh, find you one that you really, really like. You can also go on eBay for silicone baby dolls. Be careful, there's a ton of scams and ones that are not produced correctly. And uh, you don't really want to get those ones, but it's not my money. So I can't really tell you what you can and can't get. But uh, what I do is I go on... Um, ebay and i look over sorry guys i'm just looking him over i always do this <laughs> i go on ebay and when i search up for silicones i do the highest price because i know those ones nine times out of ten are the real deal so that way i'm not getting a whole bunch of scams the first four or five six pages so i do the highest price to lowest and then that's how i look at it on ebay another reputable site is okay i don't know how i'm gonna do this another reputable site is reborns.com and they have some <laughs> he's sliding everywhere they have some silicone babies on there as well and now i cannot vouch for every single one of the artists is on there but i do think our i think if anything was to happen you may be able to get a refund on there if the person accepts it i'm not a hundred percent a hundred percent sure okay let's see how we're gonna do this buddy am i supposed to put this cloth thing this little liner thing in here too guys someone lets me know someone let me know please in the comments below if i'm supposed to put uh this liner thing in here <laughs> am i we're gonna leave it in here maybe i am you guys know i have never had a cloth diaper before but i'm so excited and i'm glad i have one now so. okay i forgot i was talking about a subject <laughs> sorry guys my mind has just been work and school school and work again so i'm out of it today but uh yeah rewards.com you guys can go ahead and find your baby on there sometimes macari have uh silicone babies on there if you guys want to go through that some sellers on there, even though they look so cute on him, even though they do have like five stars, sometimes sellers, mm -mm. I've had a lot of bad experience on there. Well, not a lot, where it's like, I don't want to use the app anymore, but I had quite a few bad experience on there. So make sure you guys are checking out the sellers because sometimes, even though they might have five stars, sometimes they could really be a three star. 
So, um, those are all where you can find a uh, pre-owned silicone. Also, Facebook groups, but be careful. There are some scam groups. And uh, there are some people who sell, you know, the fake silicones. And, or they take other people's pictures and they post them as if they're owned. So, you just really have to just look for those red flags um, when purchasing anything. Especially the reborn babies. But I don't think I missed any. Now, um, you can buy a baby just like Chandler on the Dow Connection store. If you can, um, if you like Chandler or he does have some twin sisters and brothers that you can get. All on the Dow Connection store and I know they allow up to 12 month payment plans or layaway. You can fully customize your baby. Hair color, hairstyle, eye color, skin tone, and then of course, which silicone you want. I did get Chandler secondhand, so I did not purchase him directly through the Dow Connection store. So I don't, I can't answer all the questions, but I heard that they're really good, super nice, very friendly. And so, yeah, if you guys are looking for a brand new customizable silicone, you can also follow um <clears throat> silicone artist on you know social media and they'll say hey i have this blank silicone kit either for sale or as a custom and so yeah those are the only ones i can think of off of the top of my head and i don't know if this is gonna fit him if any of you in the comments below know where someone can get a legitimate silicone then comment below. Oh, I think I forgot Etsy. You can get um, some silicone babies off of Etsy as well. My friend had got a snuggle, snuggy, I don't know, the snuggle, snuggly. I think you guys know which one I'm talking about. My friend had got one of those babies. She's actually selling hers right now. Hers is in a biracial skin tone. If anyone is interested, then let me know. But she's selling hers right now. I think it's 15 or 16 inches. So it's like a preemie size. So, um, yeah, you can get some on Etsy too. I don't think this shirt is going to fit him. I'm not even going to try it on him. <laughs> We're going to try the onesie instead. Or he can chill in his cloth diaper because it's super cute. Let me pick him up and show you guys he looks shiny but he's not he does need a bath though because he's got a lot of stuff going on okay look at the diaper <laughs> can you guys see it <laughs> this is so cute such a cute diaper fits him so well you guys know he's a big chunky little thing. So yeah, again, I think I said, oops, sorry buddy, I am about to tear your arm off here. Okay. So I was like, goodness lady, can you chill please? <laughs> All right, time for the onesie. This video is so long, 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 long. Okay. I think this onesie should fit him. I always get paranoid with changing Chandler. And I'm always like, I want another silicone. I want another silicone. And I always get so scared changing Chandler. But I am actually, you guys know I made my video about like my future plans for my Reborn collection. And if I was happy with my Reborn collection. And I know I said no, but I actually am. Like, of course I want to add other babies in my collection. And for the most part, I can only do that if I sell some babies. But who knows, in the near future, hopefully, I won't have to do that because I do really like Chandler. Or love, I should say. <laughs> like. And I do love Javen. And I enjoy making videos with them and spending time with them. So, yeah. And I was thinking, like, I would probably not even go through with the sale. If I were to put them up for sale. And then that wouldn't be fair to you guys. And I think 
most likely I would regret it putting them up for sale and then them actually selling so for now I'm very happy with them and I don't think they will be going anywhere but you guys know that all can change in like a blink of an eye guys I'm sorry I am struggling with this baby okay Oh, I didn't even tell you guys about the onesie. So, this is a Carter's onesie. And it's a navy dark blue with red stripes. Or you can say it's red with uh, dark blue stripes. This onesie is too small. But we're just going to leave it on him because I don't feel like grabbing... It's clothes. We're just gonna. Y'all. Why you gotta be so big? After that song. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? I think that song came out when I was in like middle school and everybody used to sing it. I'm not saying much at all in this video. I'm sorry guys, I know the silence is like awkward. That's how I was in um Zaire's box packing. Like I was just sitting there not saying anything. When I was editing, I was like, why am I just sitting here not saying anything? So we're gonna give him back his bracelet. I let him uh wear it because I did wear it when I first got it, but then I just took it off and I never put it back on and then I lost it. And then my mom found it for me. I was like, okay, we're gonna give it to him. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Now time for his crazy hair. And then I could have kept this onesie on. I know that's going to be hard putting back on. That's a newborn size too, but I think he's worried enough and stressed it out. So, it shouldn't be that hard. I'm not gonna do much to his hair. I'm just, okay, just one, a few more sprays. <laughs> I have 30 Instagram notifications. I wonder if that's from um, who's I ears with right now. If that's you, girl, chill. Why are you sending me 30 messages on Instagram? <laughs> and I don't know if that's her or not. I have my thing where it doesn't say like who messaged me. For like the um, lock screen. Just that I got a notification from the app. Or it could be someone spam liking my photos on Instagram as well. Do you guys like when people spam like your photos on Instagram? Like when they first follow you? I mean it's a kind gesture. I don't really mind it. But I do kind of have not a lot of photos but quite a few. Or has to like the notifications make my phone freeze. Yeah, it's weird. Like if I get too many notifications for Instagram, my phone will start acting funny. So here's Chandler's hair. And here's him in this onesie that took me forever to get on him. That's why like all of his videos are so long for changing. So I think I want to do a uh, night routine with him. Sometime soon. I think I want to do one with him. I found this very cute sleeper that I have bought for Zaire. But I think it's big enough for Chandler so that he can wear it. And I forgot I had it and Zaire didn't wear it. So I think I want to do a night routine with Chandler. Okay. So anyways. That is um my little. I, I want to say a topic discussion. But um where you can. Buy a silicone or find a silicone baby that's for sale. Let me take you guys off the tripod. Oh, wait. Before I take you guys off the tripod, he's been loving this cute little, um, this cute little monkey. This monkey, um, passy clip. He's been loving it a lot. Like, it's so cute. Even just, like, being around him. Like, even if I don't put the passy in his mouth, it's just being next to him is so, so cute. So, you guys know, uh, Javen got a little baby for Christmas and Eilina got a little bear and they've been holding on to 
their little cute idols. But then now he has this little monkey that he can hold on to, just like them. And then we have to find something for Zaire. But I no, actually Zaire has like this cute little small elephant little plush thing. I'll have to bring it out and show you guys one day when well when he comes back. All right, guys, here is Chandler. Here is Chandler, Chandler Wander. Here he is in his outfit, his tight ones. Don't talk about it, don't talk about him. He's not gonna be in this for long. I think one will probably do that night routine very soon. Just so he doesn't have to stay in this too tight outfit. It's cutting off his circulation. All right. Anyways, that's it for this video. On the screen right now, there are some emojis. Comment that emoji down below. Basically, what it does is it lets me know that you watched all the way until here, which is pretty much the end of this video. And so I'm very thankful that you decided to watch it all the way until the end and that um, you listen to me ramble. I am on Instagram at Maya underscore Reborn. If you guys want to give me a follow over there, I do follow by Reborn accounts that have actual Reborns and that are not stealing photos. You guys know that deal. I am on Reborns.com under Melanated Babies. I have two babies currently for sale over there. Scarlett and Reborn Claudia. I do have a membership. If you guys want to join that, everything that I stated is linked in the description below. Again, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below anything you want, including video requests. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!